Royal Charters. The Royal. Are you fucking kidding me? So this important historic fucking video, really important historic video, is so uh, sea lion has been shot right there around the hook there at Laguna. Offering $20,000 reward. I don't think people know this here, that Congress passed a law in Congress passed a law in 2020 to legally shoot sea lions. I don't think people realize this. So, one of the La Jolla Congress, or excuse me, commissioners, he suggested that we need to get rid of the sea lions because of these encounters they have all the time with humans. We know what we need to get rid of. Humans should be allowed down there. Let's walk down there. So, people don't realize this. Congress passed a law. I mean, they think it's a zoo. These seals have been here and sea lions for millions of years. Millions of years. And so, there shouldn't be people allowed down there on the staircase, but you see they are. Why? So, look how close they are. I mean, it's ridiculous. It's obscene that have people that close. So, they've been here for millions of years. So, Congress passed a law in 2018. Congress, United States Congress, passed a law to legally shoot seals and sea lions. And you talk to anybody in the fishing industry, this epic radical collapse of the salmon, they will tell you straight up that the sea lions and the seals are too many of them. I'm like, are you fucking nuts? That's their answer to this. Their answer to this, now look at this, look at this. Are you kidding me? So the La Jolla commissioner says we need to get rid of the seals and sea lions. Humans shouldn't be allowed there that close. You just saw that. It's obscene. They think it's a zoo. Fence it off. There should not, this staircase shouldn't even be here. Neither should that one. They're legally shooting them, killing, killing them in Oregon. Legally. The new gatekeepers, huh? They got to keep these humanoids out some way. You saw that. They've been here for millions of years. And again, the one of the La Jolla congressmen, congresswomen, came out and said that we need to get rid of the seals and sea lions. <laughs> they need to get rid of the humans. Fence it off. This shouldn't exist. Good timing, I have. So, as you know, I was just at the California Coastal Commission hearing. I was due to speak about the dry cast containers, and they blackballed me. So I walk out, and there's the PR guy there for the California. He's glad you're here. Yeah. Aren't you going to speak? And I said, I thought I was going to. They changed the clock from three minutes to two. He says, they don't know how to do it like you. You think you like that? Oh, he says, you're the best man. Yeah. So, a sea lion, I'm headed over to Scripps to protest. So, a sea lion was shot at yesterday at Shaw's Cove in Laguna, in Orange County, right there around the hook. And they're offering a $20,000 reward. So I just emailed the writer. I said, you do know they legally shoot. Congress passed a law. You can legally shoot them. You know, they're killing them by the dozens a day in Oregon for eating salmon. 
Are you fucking kidding me? Are you kidding me? This is how insane. You saw that. They go right next to me. Yes. And the La Jolla congressman or commissioner came right out and says, we need to get rid of the seals and sea lions. That's their answer? Fukushima, Fukushima, Fukushima. And so I talked to the head of the California Postal Commission with a PR guy. And I says, I said, nobody even bring up Fukushima. So I got a new rant. I go, sewage, plastic, sewage, plastic, oil, sewage, plastic, oil, sewage, plastic, oil, sewage, plastic, oil. What about Fukushima? And he says, no, you're right. He says, I bring it up. He whatever. And he says, they won't talk about it. And he says, what? I says, yeah, when you bring it up, people just go glassy-eyed and they drool on themselves. He says, it's so true. It's true, Kevin. He says, I wish you would have spoke. Well, there's another one on Thursday at IB. He really said that. We need to get rid of the seals. Well, they're doing it in Oregon. They're killing them. So one was shot right over there. And that's the problem. These fishermen, because the salmon have collapsed in an epic freaking way. Look at this guy. out snorkeling. Oh, Tide pools are completely empty. Deader than thought. They really think that's the it's the seals and the sea lions that are reason the salmon are going. We I have proven it. They did we call that outlier in science. Science is missed by about some we don't do that. In science, I don't want to say all you so called scientists. Where's your field work? Where's your field work? Where's your field work? Where's your field work? We don't do that. Look how close they do. Are you kidding me? It's ridiculous. There should be no one allowed from here down there close. No one should be allowed that close. You see how close they are? They'll go up there and they'll try to pet them. Ridiculous. All right, I'm gonna do more work. It's my new rant. Sewage, I'd be, oh yeah, you think? Plastic, oh, you think? <laughs> sewage, plastic, sewage, plastic, sewage, oil, you think? Sewage, plastic, oil, sewage, plastic, oil. Okay. Well, there's one thing that trumps it all. You can't handle it. Fukushima is so, we know that the great outlier that happened on this incredible historic collapse happened on 2011-2012. We know this here on the Recoya Co. By the way, you remember the two great Salvador Dali trees that I used to do all them videos of right up there? You know they died. So we know that this great acute collapse happened in 2011-12. They call it the great starvation event now, which Kevin Blanche was calling it then. So we use regression on models. So we know this acute radical event started in 2011-2012, the collapse of the Pacific Ocean. In the Pacific, so we have to look for the culprit. We know something crazy radical happened in these shows. We have orcas and humpbacks right now. Orcas, humpbacks, and gray whales right here today. None of the three said they're in San Francisco Bay. They're in every bay. They're in Monterey Bay. It's a cliche. They're right here. They should. Not, the only time that you'll ever see a gray whale here, Oil Point, Santa Barbara, is when they migrate. This time of year, unheard of. They've left because they live in the Bering Sea. There's no, you broke the chain. There's no plankton. So you have packs of orcas right here hunting full grown humpbacks and gray whales. No gray bat or well humpback should ever be here this time of year, ever. They're hunting because they're starving to death. They're starving to death. But so one was shot in OC yesterday. They're offering $20,000 or more for a shot at. I tell people all the time, they legally shoot them in Oregon. I mean, this is ridiculous. There should never be people allowed down there. They've been on this beach for millions of years. Millions of years. Royal Cruises. Oh, fuck, make you fucking sick, right? Tourism economy, tourism economy. Don't scare the terrorists. I mean, tourists. It's fucking beyond over the fucking top.
Take all the people, throw them to the bottom of the sea before some old fool comes out. And that's for real. You can look it up. He said we need to get rid of the Silver Sea Line. Oh, go to Oregon. They're shooting them daily, killing them. We call the zoo. Says you're feeding them to the zoo. You know when you kill them, the polar bear? No, they're toxic. We're not feeding them. That's a fact. Tim Martin and I call them. Over the top, right? You wouldn't. You can't believe it. I hope my orange juice is still there. So I was due to speak at the California Coastal Commission hearing today. You stuck me on speaking lunch. You know what knows how? I said, yeah. They change the clock from three minutes to two minutes. So it's over the top. It's ridiculous. So anyway, I'll do more work on this. I'm headed over to the protest. Stay in tune.